Greece, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, met the leaders of Turkey in Greece on January 6, at the start of a week-long trip aimed at calming tensions that have spiked across the Middle East since Israel's war with Hamas began in October. The Biden administration's most senior diplomat began in Istanbul, meeting Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, a strong critic of Israel's military actions in Gaza. In the talks, Mr. Blinken emphasized the need to prevent the conflict from spreading, secure the release of hostages, expand humanitarian assistance and reduce civilian casualties, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said. Mr. Blinken also stressed the need to work toward broader, lasting regional peace that ensures Israel's security and advances the establishment of a Palestinian state, he said. Mr. Blinken and Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan had earlier discussed Gaza, as well as Turkey's process to ratify Sweden's membership of the NATO military alliance, Turkey's foreign ministry said. U.S. officials have been frustrated by the length of the process, but are confident Ankara will soon approve Sweden's accession after it won the Turkish parliament's backing last month. Said a senior State Department official, traveling with Mr. Blinken, speaking on condition of anonymity. U.S. lawmakers have held up the sale of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey until it signs off on Swedish membership. Mr. Blinken later traveled to the Greek island of Crete where he met Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis. Fellow NATO member Greece is awaiting U.S. Congress approval of a sale of F-35 fighter jets. Mr. Blinken stressed the importance of Greece's strong alliance with Washington, while Mr. Mitsotakis said the two countries could work together to help safeguard security in a turbulent region. We are standing together facing some of the most acute challenges that we've seen. But the fact that we are standing together, that's a tremendous source of strength and reassurance for the United States. Mr. Blinken said. Greek Foreign Minister George Gerapatritis told Sky TV earlier on January 6 that he expected positive developments on the F-35 jet sale during the discussions. Greece has condemned the October 7 attack on Israel by Palestinian militant group Hamas that triggered Israel's onslaught on Gaza and backed Cyprus' initiative for a maritime corridor to help deliver more aid to the enclave. It believes it can play an active role on that front due its historic ties with the Arab world. Mr. Gerapatritis will meet his Israeli and Palestinian counterparts in the coming weeks. Mr. Blinken's current tour will include Arab states, Israel and the occupied West Bank, where he will deliver a message that Washington does not want a regional escalation of the Gaza conflict. The U.S. official said Turkey has relationships with many parties in the conflict, a reference to its ties to U.S. adversary Iran and Hamas. Unlike the U.S., Turkey does not view Hamas as a terrorist group and hosts some of its members. The war began when Hamas fighters attacked Israel on October 7, killing 1,200 people and taking 240 hostages. Israel's retaliatory offensive has killed 22,700 Palestinians, according to Palestinian officials. And the conflict has spilled into the West Bank, Lebanon, and Red Sea shipping lanes. Mr. Blinken also hopes to make progress in talks on how Gaza could be governed if and when Israel achieves its aim of eradicating Hamas. Washington wants countries in the region, including Turkey, to play a role in reconstruction, governance and potentially security in the Gaza Strip, which has been run by Hamas since 2007. The official said.